Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to the Bison Channel, raising the American Bison. You wanna know anything about bison? You can come right here to Cross Turners Bison. We've we don't know it all, but in a short three years we've learned a bunch. I tell you what, but uh, yeah, part of being on a farm, you guys know if you've uh, been a part of a farm or raised on a farm, there's always always work to do. Today I've got to get the rest of our hay. We've already got one cut. Now this place, this is not Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. This is the Arms Family Homestead. I get some of my hay cut at the Arms Family Homestead place and same guy that cuts our hay at, the, at our bison property also cuts the hay here too. This is just more hay that we need to get us through the winter time. I got an actual round bale trailer I rented from GP. I've only got 20 here. Hopefully we'll get another cut. The past couple of years we've been able to get two cuts, which is nice. So I can get roughly about 40 bells of hay just from Daniel's property. And then when we get about 13 or 15 from our bison ranch. So I'm gonna start loading these up. The interesting thing is we've got some challenges today. This is not a flat level ground out here at the Arms Family Homestead. I'm diving through creeks, going up creeks, through the woods. And so this should be fun, uh, needless to say. But um, I wanna use this trailer and try to get them all on there. So. Let's get to rocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bells on here. Probably got enough room for one more. I just don't think Daniel's tractor is uh, heavy enough to push them all up here. We'll go with this. Seven, that's not bad. Well, we got our first load after a little bit of, a couple obstacles of the creek life. A couple challenges I thought I was gonna go through and did, so. It's a little bit more difficult out here than I thought it was. Hauling hay, big round bales of hay, needless to say. So, I'm gonna take this over to the bison ranch. Kevin's gonna help me stack the bales, so let's go see the bison, see how they're doing. Down by our lead, a little post oak tree here. Some leaves. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Hey there. What do you guys think about my hat? I'm a little sensitive about wearing this hat. Maybe a little insecure. Not much of a cowboy hat guy, but Kevin told me I should uh, show you guys my new cowboy hat. Brooks and I went and visited the stockyards down in Oklahoma City. I said, went in the store and I said, hey man, dude, I just want a hat to cover 
my face and skin when you get older you got to think about stuff like that you know don't want cancer on your ears i coached for 10 years and blasted by the sun you get older you start worrying about that stuff so tired of being sunburnt my pale skin so got me a cowboy hat 45 dollars shaped it for me and everything so you guys take it easy on me i don't wear cowboy hats that often but i do wear caps all the time so we'll see how it goes hey if i can protect my face and skin and all that good stuff that's all that matters right that's all that matters changing some stuff up here across the creek earlier got a little uncomfortable needless to say i did not like it got a little tight down in one of these low water crossings where the hay is across the creek pulling this across there and it got a little tight had some wheels hanging off the edge of the creek bank uh, almost lost the, all the bills and so uh, i made a quick adjustment put her in full drop got the heck out of there but anyways got the first load over to the bison i don't have very many more bales of hay but this time bring them over here load them up drive them up that big creek where it's a little steep it's just part of it when you're getting hay out of the bottom like the woods they gonna work and it's good hay too these are big old round bales of hay they're probably weighing maybe about a thousand pounds or so round two This is one of my favorite things about using these hay trailers. Watch this. Always have been. Well, we got the hay stacked. Finally, took a while with the Arms Family Homestead. Couple roadblocks you gotta go around there, but um, it's just nice to have a hay somewhere close and you, you got a relative that can uh, supply hay. I have the same guy that cuts our hay go out there and he cuts that hay. Daniel doesn't need very many bills of hay. He uses it for goats and his alpacas and a couple of his critters, but I use most of it, so I just, I just pay for it and I buy the hay right there. So this is just a portion of what we'll use here at the ranch. It's just part of it. Everybody has to do this in the wintertime or unless you have some miraculous fields and you plant a lot of stuff like rye or wheat during the wintertime, but we don't do that here. We are very lucky to have good hay here in Oklahoma. It's not a problem. Like I know I follow some bison people up north and I know they have to travel a lot of miles and they have to pay a lot of money to get hay because there's just not a lot up there as much as there is here we have lots of prairie hay which is what this is a lot of natural grass johnson grass things like that so very lucky that it's not that expensive of a product because it's right here on our property so okay next thing i'm going to do is i've got this whole trough it's heavy duty i'm going to take it down to uh, since I got the tractor out, I'm going to take it down to the big herd, the big Joe herd. I'm going to put some of our Redmond minerals out, our loose minerals that we always use. I'm going to use our trough here, move it down to the pasture. Part of their rotation, I need to be putting minerals out. I haven't been very good about it, but I need to put some Redmond minerals out. I think I'm going to put garlic out. A lot of you have been asking me about how do you keep the flies off? You notice in some of my videos, I've got Dunbar and big Joe are fighting the flies. All the bison are, but they really like those bulls.
I don't know if they're gonna like that mineral or not. Calves seem to like it. Well, it likes to get in the trough anyways. At least it's good for something. Look out, those little calves. They, this is where they start to look funny. They're starting to lose that color. Starting to lose that red dog color and start to molt and look like mama and daddy. They look a little scroungy right now. It's summertime and it's hot. They're doing a lot of grazing right now, but these minerals can help. Whatever they're not getting from the grass, the minerals hope to make up the difference is what that's for. So I didn't put it very far away from the gate. Just so if we need to put some more in, we can put some more in pretty easy. You don't have to go far down the pasture to do it. But the calves are always the ones that seem to like it the most at first, but this one's got garlic in it, so it may throw my bison off a little bit. What I'll do is kind of see how the garlic goes and see if they're actually licking it and actually ingesting it. And then I can come back and hit them with some bison 90 selenium. Thank you guys for watching. You get to see, uh, I'm always doing something. And uh, it may not be out here hanging out with the bison, but it's always pertaining to the bison. Uh, we're always trying to improve, and then we're just taking care of the bison. Just ranch life. Uh, a lot of it's not very much different than cattle ranching. So, well, somebody else is in heat. Check it out right there. It looks like uh, it's chasing peaches now. Oh, the red rocket's hanging out too. So, um, that's a good sign. Last time I was here, uh, the first couple of signs was Quapaw right here. It looks like he's done soloing her out. Then it was Bell Star. Now it looks like it's peaches. So, uh, that's a good sign that. These females are coming in heat if they already haven't been in heat. I like it, Big Joe. Keep doing your thing, big buddy. Oh, look at them. They've been reaching through the fence. <laughs> Grazing on this uh, blue stem. Yeah, blue, blue stem's good grass right here. Good grass. And there you go. She's definitely in heat. Got the smell, the snarling of the, of the nose and stuff right there. It's always a good sign. We're just in breeding season, so I'm just gonna let them do their thing. But thank you guys for watching us. If you haven't, subscribe to us. Follow us along, guys, raising these American bison right here, wearing my cowboy hat, looking goofy and all. You just gotta put hay up for the winter getting ready for that the worst thing you you don't want in the winter time is to not have enough hay and last year we ran into some cold arctic blast weather lots of snow that we're not used to and you never know when that can happen that storm is pretty rare but you always you want to have more hay uh, than you need and so working on getting that done hopefully we'll get another cut off of this it's looking good so far i love this blue stem that is that is a big time native grass here in Oklahoma and a lot of places in this area. Got some Johnson grass out here. Hopefully we'll get another cut of this and we'll just add it to the stockpile of prairie hay that we'll need in the wintertime and in the early spring. So thank you guys for watching us.